it just makes you look at the whole world differently because every single thing that I thought was important or uh, difficult in my life, it's not because there's just people who are going through so much worse and they can still be so much kinder and so much more generous and open-hearted than I am. I think that they actually embody what churches try to tell their congregations to be. I mean, you can talk about following in Jesus' footsteps and like being open-minded and like seeing everybody as your brother, but those kids actually have to see a hundred other kids as their family and they do it, you know? Like they treat each other like they're brothers and sisters. And we here in America do not have those values, but it's important to have them. And those kids do, and it's by virtue of their situations. And so it isn't just helping some kids you don't know in Honduras. It's like changing the way that you see the world, and the way that you see the world is important because it'll change how you help other people. I mean, I did not even imagine that people who were that incredible existed before I went. Like, I was actually just blown away just Every conversation I had with those kids, I just couldn't even fathom how they exist. I'm like, like Louise is just coming up to me and like giving me a hug and just holding on to me, like talking about my day. And I'm like, how are you here? How are you real? Like you've been through what you've been through and you're giving me a hug right now. Like it's just, it's just insane. Like, I mean, those kids have something, like they have some sort of spirit, like the human spirit. It's just, it's not breakable. Like those kids have been through so much. Like the girls, all of them, have been through so much, all the boys, everybody, and they are just kind and incredible. And we need to learn from that. I mean, we, like, we have to, ha if we have the resources to help them, like, we have to, like, we just have to. I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. <laughs>